tell us about one mistake that you made along the way as an entrepreneur setting up Cloudera that provided you with perhaps a very painful but very helpful lesson. So uh, without naming individuals, I mean, one of the, um, and this is actually, I have a bunch of advice that I brought for like uh, building out the company and I gave a couple already as, as we were speaking right now. Uh, but one of the key things you need to watch out for when you're building your company is the team, right? And the team is everything. It's not just your co-founders, it's the other early employees that you're gonna hire to be part of that company. You wanna be very, very careful with that because that is the seed, it's the foundation that will set the culture, will set the operating mode, will set the dynamics of the whole company for many, many years to come. So you wanna be very careful with that. <laughs> And so one of the mistakes that, that we did, uh, without, again, without mentioning names, is taking too long to uh, fire somebody that should not be part of that team, right? And because loyalty always comes in. Like, I, 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 I recruited the person to join us. I actually convinced them to join us. And now I'm going to go tell them, sorry, you can't be with us on this boat anymore. And you don't want to do it right away, obviously, but you don't want to take too long before you do it. So in our case, we took too long before we did it. And uh, sometimes that cr can set you back, can yeah. set you back by, by months, if not years, in terms of how to, to recover from, from that mistake. So I'm not saying fire people right away. You want to be, you wanna be uh, loyal and you want to give them the chance. You want to try to make them rectify their behavior and be honest and talk with them. But at some point, if it's a, if it's a cultural mismatch, it's a cultural mismatch and you just have to pull the trigger. And uh, do, it in a, do it in a respectable way, give them good uh, severance package, give them maybe some acceleration on their stock vesting, treat them well, but do it because the, 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 there's no time to waste on trying to rectify things like that if it's not working out. Yeah. So that'd be my main lesson. Fantastic. We learned that lesson a very hard way at Cloudera. Yeah. Do you guys know who Max Levchin is? Um, he's one of the PayPal mafia, as they call him. Uh, he has a, and he now runs a firm and uh, Glow. And uh, he, he's spoken about this, how he had kind of had a reputation of being pretty tough. Uh, and, and he kind of took the reins on letting people go early on in PayPal. And he still has some, not regret, but it still hurts him a little bit because it was really hard to do as, as, as you mentioned. But um, that's one of the reasons uh, PayPal was so successful um, is because of that sort of judiciousness early on. There is a number of uh, traits that we really value. Uh, obviously, one of the key traits I personally value, which is not always valued by many companies in the Valley here, but uh, being a team worker, being somebody who's very collaborative and somebody who doesn't think that this company is gonna make it or break it because of me, because I'm awesome, because I'm the greatest product creator in the world, but this company uh, is gonna make it or break it because of us all working together and helping uh, each other build a, a stronger foundation. So I look for that. If I see somebody who during the interview process shows signs of being a disruptive cowboy, that's how we refer to somebody who thinks I am I'm everything, <laughs> then that is very quickly uh, something that we will not eliminate, not try to include in the company. So that's another, that, that's one of the key things we look for.